we're already on vlog number 10. It's crazy. But anyway, as you guys can see, look at this. Got a 12-inch uh, antenna, I believe it is. 31-inch antenna. Uh, I bought it for my car because I was going to replace it. I'm going to replace this one with this one right here. Take this one out because this one doesn't really look like... This one's kind of just like, you know, a generic one, kind of just no design to it. This one's gonna go over here, and then this one was gonna go over there. But this one doesn't have any threads on the bottom, so I can't even screw it in. It just like, it was a defect or something. So we're gonna go return that, pick up another one. Hopefully they have some left. And then um, I have to go to GameStop, pick up a new game, and then hopefully install that antenna. And hopefully this time it won't be defective. All right guys, so as you guys can see, just came back from AutoZone, swapped it out. This one, I don't know if you guys would be able to tell, but this one actually has threads on the bottom. And apparently someone returned this one too, because as you can see the tape, um, but it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Um, the other one, like I said, it didn't have any threads. So that piece right there literally wouldn't screw on. It was just like hollow, no threads. So it was weird. So hopefully this one looks good. I don't know why someone returned it, but all the parts I have, I don't even need these parts. It's just, it'll screw in right to the mount that I have. I'll show you guys when I get back home, we'll screw that in. But now I'm gonna go to GameStop. I just went to um, my local GameStop and I was going to go pre-order uh, that new game, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is pretty cool. I went to go pre-order that and uh, I went to go pick up uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which uh, you know my friends kept bugging me to get. But uh, I go in there and there's a long line of people and the registers are down. So I'm sitting there for like 15 minutes and then they finally tell everyone, oh, sorry, the registers are down. So I'm gonna go home now, put that antenna on, show you guys what it looks guys. like. 31 inch, um, bought a AutoZone for $14. Now, just a quick tip, if you guys have holes, like I do up there, which I'm getting, uh, that basically is the low jack setup. Um, I'm going to be ordering those soon. Um, but if you do have holes like this, you can buy these right here. Um, which you could buy at uh, AutoZone, your local AutoZone, even Walmart sells these. These actually fit perfectly in those pre-existing holes and all the holes should be all the same, all the same on all the VIX. But if you are looking to plug up the holes, um, definitely buy these. They come with a mount um, and you just stick it in. It has a rubber part around it. So no water, nothing will get in. Same with this one. And if you ever want to interchange them, all you got to do is unscrew. And then there you go. You can screw in the new one. Just like this one as well, unscrew, and then there you go. The mounts stay there and they they lock in place very, very good. So if you guys are looking to, uh, what the hell is this, a wand? Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, but if you guys are looking to plug up holes and do it in you know, a good way and plug them up for good, these mounts are really good. Um, and I think I paid $8 for this, and it came with this antenna too, so it was $8 for that set, and another $8 for that set, but obviously, these are kind of like wonky. Um, and then I bought this one, which didn't come with a mount, but it's, like I said, interchangeable. And I think this one was um, like 12 bucks or something. And I'm getting juice all over my car. So we're gonna open this up. Hopefully I don't need a knife because some, like I said, is pre-returned it. So hopefully I can just, these are pain to rip off. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down, open this up, and then uh, I'm gonna install it and show you guys. All right, guys, so there's the new antenna. Looks really, really good. Now, when I first bought this car, I actually wasn't really a big fan of, like, the big antennas. But once my buddy, he got the 50-inch, which goes, like, all the way up there. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Ever since he got that, I actually really like this, like, how they whipped and stuff. This one's actually really cool. Look at that. So, yeah, if you guys, um, want this setup, like I said again, if you guys have holes and you want to cover them up, Definitely go to AutoZone and um, get the mounts. Like I said, again, the eight bucks, they come with these. You could just throw these out and pick these up like I did. Um, obviously, I got them through time because I didn't want to drop like $50, but um, yeah, it looks really, really good. I really like that big antenna setup. It looks a lot more legit now. I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys my backstrobes, but let me turn that on so you guys can see my backstrobes real quick. So this is where my control switch is. Just flick it on. Looks 
steady kind of strobe as I like to call it. Well, see, those I don't really consider strobes because it's not in a rapid flashing movement. So that technically isn't a strobe. And then you just got the steady, the steady burn, which is all the way down, which I use a lot. You know, if I'm parked up on the side of the road in a dark street or something, I usually just have the steady. That's really bright at nighttime. It's not bright now, but at night it's really, really bright. So if I'm ever, you know, stuck. You know, when I'm on a dark, dark street, I just have the steady burns on so people are kind of aware because people around our area drive like idiots. I'm really happy the way it came out. Thankfully, because this was the last one. So if anyone wants an antenna, let me know. I'll send you this if you really want it. I forgot my GoPro, so I actually didn't uh, film myself going inside GameStop and stuff. But this is what I picked up. Um, the Elite 8 GameStop is actually really, really cool. They're actually only supposed to give out one of these posters, but because it's double-sided, she gave me two. Look at that. It's awesome. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I'm not sure I'm going to put these posters. Maybe somewhere up here or something. Or maybe I'll take that. Po yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm a big Star Wars fan, too. Got a lot of stuff, but yeah. Probably put these somewhere, maybe up there. I don't know, maybe. I have a ton of posters. Like I said again, I'm a big, big gamer, so I got tons and tons and tons of posters, ranging from Call of Duty to Battlefield, everything. Any game you can think of, as you can see over here, too. I have more posters in here, um, like life-size posters, kind of like my GTA poster. Um, guys, welcome yeah, back. Yeah, I got a ton of stuff. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of blocked in here. See, so yeah, I basically... I don't know if you guys, well, you guys clearly know, I got a giant ass camper in my driveway. So we only have like one row that we can park cars. So usually, you know, me and my parents always park on this, on like a side street. And they freaking blocked me in. Look at this crap. They want me to go pick up. I need to, um, I need to go to AutoZone. Oh God, this is going to be, I don't even know if he has a tow hook. Hold on. See how far I am hitting this. All right, I got some space. Yeah, but anyway, um, I'm going to go to, oh shoot, that's close. Luckily, I'm a good driver, and I can get out of the tightest of spaces. Yeah, we're up. All right, yeah. So before I'm out of breath, I was about to pull out. <laughs> That's what she said. I was about to um, I was about to leave, and I'm like, wait a minute, where's my license? I did this like 20 times already. I'm like so focused on the vlog and everything that I forget my license. So I had to run back inside, grab my license, and uh, now we'll be on our way. You guys see what I'm talking about? It's a giant ass camper, so uh. You can only park like three cars in our driveway. So, yeah. That's that. I always love doing this. Every time I pull into that driveway, I would just put my sirens on. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Can't get over that. That's awesome. All right, yeah. So, now that it's dark, I'm going to show you guys um, my strobes real quick. Since it's, you know, darker, you guys can see it. And put on the strobe pattern. Now you guys can see it's a lot brighter. Actually really bright, they reach pretty far. And then we got my front one, which I have to plug that in. My front one, like I said, it's never really plugged in. Because I'm always charging my phone or something. But eventually, probably during the summer once it's warmer and I can you know, pull everything out of my car and tighten it up right now. Now it's still too cold. But I'm probably gonna, like I said in previous vlogs, I'm probably gonna do a kind of like control panel with like all my switches and stuff in here so I can, you know, hide it and stuff. So it's not clustered like this, but my front one's actually a lot brighter than the back. Let's go check it out. So just for a comparison, I almost just tripped over rock. There's the back strobes. The ones are definitely a lot brighter. Um, yeah, so that's basically, that's my light setup right now. My dad actually uh, bought me another light bar like this, but it's about 
three times bigger than that. Um, or so he said, I don't know. That's what he said. He said he bought me it as kind of like a welcoming gift for me buying my car, which is kind of late, but <laughs> better late than ever. But anyway, yeah, he bought me um, another one of those. So that one's probably going to go right up here, right above my mirror. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but... Um, and then this little one will probably go right here, and I'll buy another little one for on that side. So, um, it's, you know, it'll look good. Because that one just kind of looks wonky. Just that one over there. I went on eBay and I saw some stuff. As you guys know, or may not know, I want one of those hockey puck antenna things um, for my car. Um, just to kind of make it look a little bit cooler, I guess you can say. Um, I've always wanted one. My friend was supposed to give me one, but they didn't find it. Um, so I was looking at a couple things on eBay. Uh, like I told you guys, the low jack system, which is on, well, the low jack antennas, which is the four antennas and then the cylinder puck in the middle. Probably just order those. And then, um, as always, I'll do like an unboxing of it and show you guys how it is. Uh, they are magnetic though, so um, I have to make sure that the magnets will go over the hole and they're strong enough because I don't really trust magnets, but um, because as you guys know, mine are mine are actually like mounted in there. It's like a legit mount that goes in the hole and like seals it, so no water, anything will get in, especially on my roof too, because I don't want no water getting in there. But um, I'm very very low on gas, so I'm gonna stop talking now and gas up before I get stuck in my driveway. All right, guys. Before I forget, now um, one of the comments which um. I don't remember who it was, but thank you for um, suggesting this. But um, he said that this, like, I didn't know what this was at first, and I figured out, hey, maybe it's for my low jack system, which the pin is down there somewhere, for my low jack. And then they say you flick this on while the car is in park and on. I can try flicking that on and putting the car into gear. Still works. So that doesn't do anything. Like I said again, it's probably deactivated or something. Or maybe that's not even for the low jack. I don't know. I I'm going to have to do some research on that. I heard that if you flick that on, and then the car won't move into gear. So, But as you guys saw, I flick it on. I can move it into gear. So that does nothing. Um, I don't know if I have to pull the pin down there maybe, then flick that on. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of scared to pull that. I just can't get over that antenna. It's just like... Go, oh, lady, come on. You know you bought the right car when you just, even when I went to go pump gas, I just had to stop, take a look back at my car. It's just, oh man. It's like every time I add to it, it's just, it looks better and better. I can't wait till those new antennas. Well, I still have to order them. Like I said, I gotta measure them first and make sure that um, the, uh, the diameter of the circle is gonna cover the hole because there are magnets. So I gotta be very careful with that. I don't want them to fly off on the highway or anything. Okay, so um, this actually happened a couple, well, it happens every single time I drive now. Obviously, when you drive a car like this, you know, people, like I said, they drive cautious around you, they don't drive stupid. Perfect example. I didn't, like, I'm so upset that I never catch these on film for you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I have to move that first of all. When my other light bar comes in, that's gonna move, and I'm gonna put, because if I put the GoPro there now, you guys will just see that, and you know, so when I move that, I'm gonna start having my GoPro film every single time I drive. For perfect example, some guy in a Jaguar pulled out. Nice Jaguar, by the way. It's pretty cool. But anyway, he pulled out and he was about to cut me off. And as soon as he saw the front end of this car, he freaking slammed on his brakes. And he let me pass and I gave him a look. And then he waited like, probably like 10 seconds. Then he pulled out behind me. So he was like way back there. Um, you know, it's just like, if I was in like, for example, my, my older car, the Impala, he probably would have cut me right off. And, you know, just having this car, it's just like, it's crazy the way that people drive around. You know, they drive so safe. They drive, you know, they think twice. It's like crazy. It's just, it, it's funny too. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna start filming that for you guys. I'm going to start putting the GoPro on the mount again once I move that, that strobe light. Uh, so you guys can see because it happens to me every day. People try to like cut me off. Not, yeah, even like if you're at an intersection or something and you know people don't let you go if you have a car like this they'll let you go right away it's like they don't want you behind them so yeah that's just something that came up because you know he almost cut me off until he saw me and then he just slammed on his brakes it's just not also that cars also like to stay a very long distance away from you a lot of cars you know keep their distance when driving you know like normal speeds they don't like to get really close to you as well so you know it's a very safe car you know i feel very safe in this car you know i don't feel like anyone's gonna do something stupid because 
as soon as they see the front end, they're like, oh crap. I want to make a video that's like the pros and cons of this car. One of the, my biggest pet peeves about owning this car is people love to stare into your car. So if I'm like parked somewhere to eat, sometimes like people will park near you just to like look inside and it's annoying as hell. Even when like I'm stopped at an intersection or something, people will just like stop and they'll just look at you and it's annoying. That's why I, I can't wait till summer when I can tint these windows so people don't freaking stare at me the whole time. Officially the nastiest freaking burger can I've ever had in my life. The cookies were good on the side note. I have to go get some Velcro. I said this like seven vlogs ago that I was gonna put Velcro over here so it can stick. I actually gave um the rest of my Velcro to my friend so he can put his he actually has the same strobe setup in the back like me, so he put the Velcro like me. So um I gave him that because I was like, you know, whatever. Um, but I have to go buy some more. I thought I had more, but I have to put that like that because it's such a pain. Like, always flop. Oh, shoot. I think I just put on my strobes. All right. No, I didn't. Good. But, uh, yeah, I got to, like, mount it. So I don't know if you guys notice this, but when I, like, when I go to park and stuff, I try to park as far away from people as I can because um, I've actually had a couple incidents where people, you know, effed around with my car. Um, for example, I've had someone, when it was snowing out, you know how the snow kind of leaves like, uh, well, if you don't never have, if you live where a place where there's no snow, then you're not going to know what I'm talking about. But snow kind of like the salt and everything kind of creates like a, a dust. Some guy actually came up to my car, a kid or something, I'm assuming it was a kid, came up to my car and wrote cop on it. Now, it wasn't a big deal. Kind of raised my eyebrows because someone actually went up to my car and had the guts to write that you know what I mean so not also that I've also actually had someone try to steal my antenna before um, and how I know this is because one day I went to work and I came back and the antenna was like loose so someone obviously tried playing with it that's why I'm kind of worried about getting the magnetic antennas well they're on the roof so they're gonna be higher they're gonna be harder to get anyway if someone would try to do that but um yeah, that's why I always try to stay parked very far away from cars so no one screws around in my car or anything like that, which they shouldn't. I mean, most people don't, but... Alright guys, so I got the Velcro strips, two bucks at Walmart. I'm gonna put them here, stick that there. Just for now, temporarily. Like I said again, I'm probably gonna have a control box in here. And then, like, slide it open and close. This will probably go... Well, I'll probably get a new one because this one... Well, it works. It just needs the new wire, so... I probably to get a new one, but I'll probably mount it over here. Like my friend kind of had it kind of like slanted. So that'll go there. That'll probably go down there or either up there. And uh, my control box for my lights and stuff will go over here, which I don't have many, but you know, just so it's like nice and neat. Yeah, but I'm going to put Velcro that up real quick. That can stick there. And be good to go. All right, guys, so there it is. Stuck it on. Uh, it's a little bit bulky. I thought these strips were like tiny, tiny little squares. That's what it showed on the box. Yeah, see it? They looked like little tiny squares. So I was like, oh, okay. So they're small squares, but they're actually pretty big. So it's kind of bulky, but at least it stays. That's what I wanted it. So I didn't keep falling. Now, if you guys ever get a Crown Vic, you might want to keep a couple of these in your car because trust me when I tell you, if you want to dress it up, like, you know, put strobes on it or, you know, stuff like this and even this thing for my radio which i probably didn't show you guys this but um yeah this is for my radio control for my radio i think i did actually i think i showed this in my um walk around vlog about my car and stuff but yeah you know just to like put stuff on it comes in handy a lot trust me so if you ever do get a crown vic definitely pick a couple of these up just keep it in your sensor console like i do if you ever but, uh, yeah that's gonna be, right be it for today's there. video i know it's kind of loud so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time